It's Jimmy O here from Joe Blow. First, I want to start off with, I think we discussed this a little bit in the set visit. What are your beliefs, and does that affect your performance when you're stepping into a movie like this? Okay. I, I think that I believe uh, in spirits and the afterlife to some extent, but also meeting Janet and Margaret and hearing them talk about it, I believe something happened to them, whether it was paranormal or not paranormal, or to that extent or not to that extent, I believe something happened. I definitely believe there is some truth to their story, and definitely that um, made me want to tell their story correctly, and it definitely influenced my performance. Wow, you did a great job. Thank you so much. You? But, and in terms of ghosts and things like that, I, I kind of believe that there's got to be something there. There's just so much evidence that kind of says there's got to be something, <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, and in terms of telling the story and believing in the story, there's just so much kind of uh, documentation out there that you can watch and read and listen to. It really helped. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. there's a level of, uh, of re you know, you look at the posters on the walls in this film, mm. there's a incredible detail. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Does that help you guys? I mean, they, that room, I, you look at the original room and you look at the room that they created and it's exactly Identical. the same. Yeah, I think that helps me a lot because if you can really put yourself there, it makes everything so much more real and more realistic. Yeah. I mean, I just think that, yeah, the design on this was great. Yeah. And yeah. the house was so gloomy to be in. And if you're in there for like five, six hours, you just start to believe that it's Yeah, I mean, even the house. costumes, some of it was really recreated. Like, you'll see photographs of Janet wearing this long red nightgown. And there in the film, that nightgown is actually, they remade that nightgown. So I think just being able to see that mm -hmm. really just put me in that position. Did you guys take some of this home? I mean, this is it. <laughs> I, I, it's so intense. It's such an incredible, both of you guys go through so much in this film. How do you not take that home with you? I think because it is kind of such a technical exercise working on the film that it was actually just fun being on the set. And there's such a love, the crew was so fun. And I never felt like, I just, I would get home and feel exhausted or like I'd been screaming for five hours. <laughs> yeah. I feel kind of like slightly adrenalized, but I never felt oh my God, there were real ghosts on that set, or I never felt anything like that. You know, just, you yeah. just felt tired. Yeah. <laughs> they were cool there, were they? <laughs> it would have been cool. Yeah. It would have been very cool, yeah. Uh, you, but especially for you, you this is a, I, 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 an older actor I don't think could bring the realism that you did. Oh, thank you. That must have been really challenging, but did you take it home? Did you have a hard time letting go? I don't think I had a hard time letting go. I definitely did a lot of research and connected with Janet and I think that's why um, my performance was where it was and I think that it also had to do with the people around me because um, we were always laughing and joking on set. It was never something that you felt intimidated or pressured or scared even.